here with uh, the new offensive coordinator for Syracuse, Coach Nate Hackett. And Coach, obviously the big news for you this offseason, name the offensive coordinator. How did that come about and what changes? Hopefully nothing changes at all. I really do hope that nothing changes. Coach Marone and I did a great job, I thought, working together and getting the offense rolling last year, and we want to keep it going, uh, just, just how it was in the last game last year, and, and it's been a great deal. I, I'm honored to have the title, and to me it is just a title. It's, I still have all the same responsibilities, and I'm going to still be right there for Coach Marone, and Coach Marone's going to be right there for me, and I'm excited to go. Your dad, obviously, a long time uh, offensive coach. So how does he sort of feel about you taking over the family business here? Oh, he loves it. He, he was actually just retired recently and he was here the past two days. I had to beg him to come out away from vacation and, and help me out. And it was a good thing and a bad thing. You know, he's all over me. Hey, you got to do this. You got to do that. And then he compliments you when you do some good things, but uh, it's great. He's, he's really happy. Uh, it's so much fun for me. It's the first time this year, this first game at Wake Forest is going to be the first game that he's ever been to of mine. Uh, I've never really had him when I was playing because he always had his game. So uh, I'm so excited. I might be even more nervous for that than anything else. So it, it's great. And, and he's excited. My mom's excited. She thought she was out of the football game when he was going to retire, but it's still going now. <laughs> now, along with your offensive coordinator duties, you're also the quarterback's coach and the tight end's coach. You've become quite a workhorse for this coaching staff. Yes, I, I need to keep busy. I, I get bored fast and I like to be around a lot of people. And it, it's, it's a great deal. I, the good thing about working with the tight ends is they need to know a lot of the things that the quarterbacks do. We, we ask the quarterbacks and the tight ends to know everything about the run game and the pass game. And since they're so intricate in both of those, when I teach them, it's great for them to hear the things I'm telling the quarterback and the quarterback is, is vice versa. And they're so much, they need to be in such sync, the two of them, for a lot of the hot routes, the things that we have issues from protections and, and how we're gonna handle pressure. So it's a great mix to have those guys in there. And they get a lot more knowledge than they ever thought they could ever get playing tight end. They thought they were just gonna be taught to catch a ball and block and now they're learning about all, the, all kinds of stuff. 